Today is Monday, June 15th, and we are about to work our Pilates yoga combination class. It's a nice blend of a little Pilates to get us all warmed up and powerful from the inside out, finishing off our practice with some flexibility and relaxation. So listen to your body, sip water when you need to. I try to keep us moving in the Pilates portion so we don't have time to cool down. So if you need breaks in between, please take what you need. Watch out for your form. Most important thing is to really listen to your body. If something is painful, it is being done incorrectly. So things we have to watch out for is the holding of our breath, the pulling out our head or our neck, and the use of our lower back. So if you're feeling yourself in any of those three things going on, you want to kind of regroup, take a break, and venture back into the movement. We are going to start with some relaxation, so let's go ahead and relax down our backs. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms open face to the sky. Relax your shoulders from your ears. I want you to breathe deeply in through the nose, feel the expansion of your belly, your back, and your ribcage. And as we exhale out, I want you to breathe out through your mouth and feel that same area of your body contract and empty. While we're breathing deeply in through the nose, out through the mouth, bring awareness to your arms, nice long stretching your arms to the shoulders, to fingertips. And then feel your arms go soft and you just stand with your legs. Stretch your legs from your hips to your heels. And just feel that lengthening of your legs. Then go ahead and relax your legs. And now let's transition into the belly. And imagine someone's about to punch you in the stomach. So you're going to pull down on the back side of your navel, hold it nice and tight without holding your breath, without tensing the rest of your body. And then go ahead and let it go. Try again, be able to spine, hold it in nice and tight without holding your breath, without tensing the rest of your body. And then let it release. Let's inhale the arms to the sky, exhale, reach behind you and stretch out through all of your fingers. Push out through your heels. Bring your big toes closer together and keep your heels apart. And then go ahead and relax your body. Let's inhale the arms back up. Exhale, return them to your side. And then once we're there, let's roll our head to the left. Bring it back to neutral and roll it to the right. Let's get back to neutral and again roll the head to the left. And back to neutral and roll to the right. And then just return to that neutral place. Now we're ready to go ahead and pull the right knee close to the body. Give it a good tight hug and add a flexing point in your right foot. Want to work from our heel to our toes. Roll the ankle around and around. Lead with your big toe towards that midline of the body. And then we'll just rest our foot. Let's switch out the legs and go to the left leg. Start with that close hug. Flexing and pointing your foot. Roll the ankle around and around. And then just let your foot rest. Now bring both knees in close to the body, starting with a good tight hug. And then just flex and point both feet. Let your feet relax and let's circle our knees around and around, massaging lower back. And then let's reverse. And then we'll keep the knees close, but I want you to roll both ankles around this time. All right, again, the circles go so that your big toes are pulling towards that midline of the body. 
And then just tap and spread your toes out super wide. Scrunch them up really tight. Stretch them wide. Stretch them tight. And once more nice and wide. And then scrunch them up tight. And quietly let your feet relax. Now when we've got the knees drawn in, I want you to tighten your belly. Press to the back of your rib cage. Roll your shoulders, bend your head off the floor. So you're looking ready right at your knees, and towards your chest. And then we'll lie back down. Try again, round up, nose to knees, chin to chest. And release back down. Once more, let's round up, nose to knees, chin to chest. You're gonna stay right there. Place your hands in a nice little triangle, white knee on the back of your head. Elbows wide, let's separate your knees, heels together, tilt apart. Inhale the legs straight out, exhale back in, inhale, exhale, push out, pull in, push out, pull in, push out, pull in, push out, one more, push out, pull in. This time push out with your big toes, tuck J heels apart, pull in with your heels together, toes apart. So we rotate in, and then heel, arrow, V, arrow, V, arrow, V, arrow, two more, arrow, one more, arrow and V. Let's bring knees and feet together, stretch up your toes, press through your arches, and then pull back in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Push away, pull in, push away, pull in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now flex your feet, push out through your heels, pull back in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Two more, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now let's switch way, stay there, point and flex your feet. Let's do four, three, two, and one, hold it. Now lift a little higher, arms at your sides, palms facing up, let's start to come firmly. Inhale for five feet, and exhale for five feet. Level two, you can modify that by bending the knees. Level one, we can modify by resting your feet on the mat. Let's try one more round. Remain holding, tuck your knees in, rest your head down, and knees. All right, very good. Now we should feel a little bit warmed up, and let's move into some roll-ups. Start with your knees bent, feet on the floor, legs pressed together, arms resting behind us on the mat, shoulders open and relaxed. Let's inhale your arms to the sky, drop the shoulders down, exhale, scoop the belly and come up as far as you can, big inhale, and then exhale as we tuck and roll back down. Again, inhale, lift your arms, drop your shoulders back, exhale, use your belly to pull you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Inhale, lift your arms, drop your shoulders back, exhale, use your belly to pull you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Again, inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back, exhale, use your belly to pull you up, stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck and roll down. Now, if you're confident that you're not engaging your legs, put your legs out straight. Inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back, pull the belly tight to draw you forward. Inhale again, exhale, tuck and let's roll down. Again, inhale, lift your arms, shoulders drop back, exhale, use your belly to pull you up, stretch as far as you can reach. Inhale, exhale, tuck and roll down. Again, inhale, arms up, drop the shoulders back, exhale, use your belly to pull you up, stretch as far as you can reach, inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll down. How about one more time? Inhale, lift your arms, shoulders drop back, exhale, really using that belly to roll you up, stretch as far as you can reach, inhale, and then exhale as we tuck and roll down. Once we're all the way down, let's stretch, stretch, stretch. And ah, let your body go soft. Now let's float the arms up. Return them to your sides. Palms facing open. 
I like that journey. So we're gonna keep our feet about hip distance apart. Turn your toes in slightly, heels out slightly. Keep your feet far enough away from your buttocks so that when you go to lift in the bridge, you're targeting buttocks and hamstrings, not thighs and knees. So start by tightening the belly and peeling off the mat, pressing up into shoulder bridge. So we're not feeling any weight in our neck. And then exhale equally as slowly, articulate back to the mat. Try again, tightening the belly, let's slowly draw ourselves off the mat. Push your hips, hold it there without holding your breath. And then exhale as you melt back in. Inhale again, tighten as you go up. Exhale as you go down. Again, inhale as you go up. Now I want you to remain at the top of your bridge. Pull the right knee in, extend your right leg towards the sky, and let's lower, lift down, up, flex, point, lower, lift, lower, lift, four, and three, have out, two, and one. Keep the leg up, a little higher, we're going to circle up there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it. Now just take the bottom of that foot and place it on the top of your left thigh. Keep pressing your hips a little higher. And then place the right foot back down, still holding bridge. Left knee nice and straight towards the sky. Lower lift down, up, lower lift, lower lift, lower lift, lower lift. Four and three and two and one. Up, a little higher. Circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold up. Now let's bend, place your foot on your thigh. Keep pressing your hips up, hold it. And then place the foot back down. And one vertebra at a time. Let's release all the way back down. Once we've made it back down, let's pull knees to chest. Ah, that should feel good. Good stretch all the way up the spine, down into the gluteals. Let's do a little rock side to side. And then a couple of knee circles to massage through the lower back. And then we'll go the other way. All right, from there I want you to tighten the belly, press through the back of the ribs, come back up into your C shape. Extend your arms at your sides, palms facing up, arms are off the mat, elbows then, fingertips touch shoulders. Get in, inhale, push straight, open, close, exhale, knees, elbows. In, inhale, push straight, open, close, exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push straight, open, close. Exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push straight, open, close. Exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push, open, close. Knees, how about two more? Inhale, push, open, close. Knees, let's do one more. Inhale, push, open, close. Knees, elbows, and stay. Pull your knees back in. Send your head back down. Let's extend our right leg towards the sky, one or two, right up there over our nose. Left knee back with foot on the mat, level one. Or push your left leg out straight, level two. Right leg crosses, left circles out and up. So we're gonna draw circles on the ceiling about the size of a large beach ball. And while that leg is circling up there, nothing else is moving. So the rest of the body is imprinting into the mat. Last two. One more. Now let's go the other way. Out first and then in and up. Last two. One more. And then hold your leg up straight. Now bring the other leg up. Got your heels touching. We're going to inhale as so we lower bound halfway down. Exhale as so we feel the right legs round up together. Inhale down. Exhale around. So when we're doing these, we're not using lower back. And I want you to think about internally rotating your legs. All right, so as you're going down, the legs are pressing inward. Inhale down, exhale, let's do two more. 
And the last one. And then hold it. And then let's switch legs. So keep your left leg straight. Toes on the ceiling directly over our nose. Right knee bent, level one. Right leg straight, level two. Left leg crosses, right circles out and up. Got that really powerful circling leg happening here. Stabilization of the pelvis. And then arms extend, comes facing the sky. We're going to inhale in preparation. On the exhale, we're going to scoop the belly and drop your head through your arms, put your chin on your chest, push out your fingers and feet. And then inhale, stand back up, lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Try again. Exhale, scooping the belly and round out your spine. Drop your head through your arms, put your chin on your chest. And then inhale, come out of it, lower middle, upper spine, and head. So when we're doing this, I want you to really feel like someone's pushing a basketball into your gut, and your body is simply rounding over the basketball. And then as we come up, we're pushing the basketball out by straightening our spine nice and straight. Again, exhale, scoop the belly and round out your spine, drop your head down, chin to chest, push out your fingers and feet. And then inhale, rise back up, lower. Middle, upper spine, and head. Couple more. Exhale, scooping the belly and round out your spine. Drop your head down, chin to chest, push out through fingers and feet. And inhale, back up lower. Middle, upper spine. How about one more? Exhale, scooping the belly and round, 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 round your spine. Drop your chin to your chest, push out through fingers and feet. And then inhale, come back up lower. Middle. Upper spine, in hand. Ooh, let the arms come down. Let's do a few shoulder rolls from back to front. All right, now let's bring our legs closer together. We're gonna bend both knees. Place our hands behind our thighs. And we're gonna roll like a ball. So if we're rolling like a ball, we're gonna find our balance on our tailbone. Why don't you feel that belly button scooping in. Relax your shoulders so that your nose can drop right down between your knees. Chin on your chest. You're going to look at your belly button the whole time. Level two people you can bring your hands to the outside of your shins. So we're going to use only the belly to pull us back. And then only the belly to bring us back up again. But remember, you can roll at your own pace. But just make sure you're focusing on how you're getting back. 
And now you're getting up. Let's try two more. And let's do one more. And then we're just gonna hang out right there in a nice tucked in position, which is gonna lead us into single leg stretch. So simply extend your left leg and let's roll back. Keeping the back of your ribs on the mat or in our C shape. Left team goes to top right knee, right hand, right ankle, elbows up. Let's alternate. Knee to chest, toes to wall. Stretch your legs nice and straight. Draw that knee up to your chest. Pull, pull, pull. Four, three, two, one. Hold there. Switch hold. Switch hold. Let's try one more. Switch hold. Good. Now let's bring both knees in. So notice we're still in our C shape. So for this one, hands are gonna rest on your shins, your ankles, or the tops of your feet. As we inhale, arms start to reach up, arms and legs extend out. Exhale, sweep your arms, round tuck the knees in, inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull. Four to go. Three. Two, one. Now we're just going to reverse the arms. So you're going to sweep out and up and then pull in. Last two. One more. And hold right there. Now we're ready for straight single leg stretch. So let's reach the right leg high. Hands are going to aim for your ankle. Calf is okay. Nothing lower than your calf. Left leg also straight. And then draw the right leg towards your face. You can pull your left leg away from your face and then we switch. So we want to visualize ourselves doing a split on the ceiling. No yanking, no forcing. Let's do last four, three, two, and then one. And then from there, both legs together. You can rest your head down for a moment. Let's all form thumb and index finger triangle. You can place that under your butt for level one. That's simply gonna help your lower back and your belly on this one. Level two, you're gonna keep your butt pressed down, triangle on the back of your head. Everybody tighten the belly, round up for me in that C shape. Now inhale, drop slowly, one, two, three. Exhale, snap the legs up without lifting your butt. So let's inhale, lower. So what we're not feeling is any stress or discomfort in that lower back. We're feeling tons of power in the belly. Inhale, lower. Exhale, two more, inhale, lower. Exhale, last one, inhale, lower. Exhale, hold it, all right? Down goes your head, in come your knees, up to your C-shape, right leg in, left leg out. Triangle for all, light knee on the back of our head. Start with just your legs straight in, straight out. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, big hold, now a little higher. Rotate opposite arm and across to your knee. And then we switch. Lift, twist, 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 lift, twist. Eight, and six. Here's four, three, two. Hold up, switch, hold up, switch, hold up. Switch last two, switch one more. Switch, stay, knees come in, rest your head down, ah, oh, breathe, woo, couple more knee circles around, and let's reverse, and then just rest your feet down, open your arms nice and wide, let's drop your knees all the way to the right, so you can look left, you bring your left shoulder on the mat, feel that in your waist, come back up, let your knees go left, and then we'll drop to the right, to the right. Good, and then come back up. And from here, I want you to just let your knees drop open, the soles of the feet together. And let your hands come to your inner thighs and kind of press 
those knees a little bit wider, but just let your spine remain in a neutral place. And then we'll bring our knees back together, pull them in close, and let's exhale, roll up. Once you're back up, let's do row number one. So we're gonna sit nice and tall and straight with our legs together. Make a fist with your hands. You're gonna press your knuckles together. So you're looking at the back of your hands and your thumbs are pointing down. On the inhale, we're gonna scoop the belly in, pull back. On the exhale, the arms extend. We're gonna pull the body forward, hook together, lift up, and then exhale, release to your toes. Come back up, try again. Knuckles together, thumbs point down. Inhale, scoop back, exhale, arms extend. Swan dive forward, inhale and tire. Exhale, reach to your toes. Come back up, knuckles together, thumbs down. Inhale, scooping back. Exhale, arms extend. Swan dive forward, inhale the arms higher. Exhale to our toes. And we're back up, knuckles together, thumbs down. Inhale, scoop back. Exhale, arms extend, swan dive forward, inhale up higher, exhale to your toes. And we're back up, let's try one more, knuckles together, thumbs are down, inhale, pulling back, exhale, arms extend, swan dive forward, inhale up higher, and then exhale, reach to your toes. And then from there, we can come back up to a neutral place, let's bend our knees, Place our hands behind our thighs, relax our shoulders, and now I want you to keep your back super straight. So find your balance on your tailbone. Once you've found your balance, let's start to extend the legs. We're gonna go where we can without rounding our back. And then let's rebound. Try again, start extending your legs. Go where you can without rounding. And then once you've found your spot, let's have your arms. Maintain your balance and lower with the arms down, up, down, up, down, up, four, three, two, and one, big hold. Now let's lower just your legs. Reach high and touch the sky. And then let the arms come all the way down. Let's do a couple of shoulder rolls from back to front. Good, and then from there we're going to cross our legs to either side. And we're going to let our palms open face to the sky and simply rest the back of your hands on your knees. Take a few deep breaths in this nice seated mountain pose position. Let your chin fall to your chest, breathing into the back of your neck. Inhale, lift your head to back, lift, open your throat. Try again, drop and chin to chest. Lifting our head to back, open our throat. Dropping to the chest. Lifting our head to back, open our throat. And then just find your way back to that neutral place. Now I want you to drop your left ear to the left, chin to the chest, and then roll right ear to the right. Drop the chin to the chest, left ear to left shoulder. Dropping the chin, rolling off to the right. Drop the chin, and roll to your left. Now take your left hand and place it just above the tip of your right ear. And let's push the right palm into the earth. Breathe up the arm and along the side of your neck. Now extend that left arm towards the sky and do a little side bend to your right. Sweep the arm forward, reach to the side, come back up, and side bend. Sweep forward, reach out, lift up, and side bend. Once more, sweep forward, reach out, lift up, and side bend. And then let the arm float down. Let's do a couple shoulder rolls from back to front. And then let your fingers again rest on the mat. Drop your chin. Rolling right ear to right. Place your right hand just above your left ear. And push your left palm into the mat. Let's inhale, reach up and gaze up at your right hand. Side bend to your left. 
Straight forward, reach out, lift up. And side bend. Sweep forward, reach out, lift up. And side bend. Once more, sweep forward, reach out, lift up. And side bend. And then we'll come back up. And again, up here, foot down. A few more shoulder rolls from that to front. And then I want you to make them a little bit bigger. And then from there, just extend the arms out wide. Sit tall, sit straight. Let's rotate to our right. Let the fingertips reach down, sit a little taller, and look a little further over your right shoulder. Inhale the arms up. As we exhale, come back to neutral, arms go wide. Now let's rotate to the left, sitting taller and straighter. Let your fingertips slow down and look over that left shoulder. So inhale the arms back up and exhale open wide. Take one more inhale as we are. On the exhale, we can float the arms down and let's transition on the hands and knees. So once we've made it to hands and knees, we've got shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, tops of the feet pressing into the mat, lengthening from the tailbone to the top of your head. Let's sink our navel, lift our tailbone, lift our head, open our heart cow. Exhale, keep the belly in and round the cat. Inhale for cow. And exhale, round the cat. Again, inhale, cow. And exhale, round the cat. And just come back to that neutral place. Let's extend the right leg behind us and push out through our right heel. Add your left arm forward, reaching out through your fingertips. Let that left palm rotate a little towards the sky. Exhale, lower and we'll switch. Left leg extends, push out through the heel. Add the right arm forward. Exhale, lower. And now just separate your knees while your big toes are touching. And push back with your tailbone. Let your hands walk farther out. Let your ribs fall between your thighs, nose to the mat. And while you're here, let your palms face the sky. And feel that stretch going all the way down the sides of your body, out through the tailbone. Let your palms step over, press down into those palms with widespread fingers. Scoop the belly in and let's round up for our cat. Sink your navel, lift and open for cow. Axial again, round for cat. Inhale for cow. And once more, rounding, rounding for cat. Opening for cow. And then we're back to our neutral position. So check out your hands. They should be rotating slightly. Feel that weight pressing towards the index finger knuckles and kind of lifting out of the outer edges of your palms. From there, we're simply gonna walk our feet back and form a plank. We want to keep our head from hanging, so push out through your heels. Belly button is nice and tight, but buttocks is relaxed, and we're pushing through the back of our inner knees. From here, we're going to press up into downward facing dog. Let your head drop through your arms. Feel your ribs pulling closer to your thighs, and the back of your shoulder blades pulling towards your gluteals. We're going to walk our dog a few times, lift and lower each heel individually. And then let's press the heels up and press the heels down. Let's move back into that very strong plank. From there, I want you to drop your right knee to the back and just extend the left leg behind you. Again, pushing out through your heel. Now I want you to curl your right toes under and we're going to push up into three-legged dog. Step the right foot back, or left foot back down into downward facing dog. 
and then let's come back down onto all fours. So same thing, let's extend the right leg behind us this time. We're gonna tuck our left toes under and push up, bringing us into three-legged dog. And then bring that foot down, returning us to full down dog. Let's do a few more walks of our dog. And then keep our heels raised and press them down. Now let's take a giant step forward with our right foot. We want to bring our foot so it's right up between our hands. We've got our knee over our ankle. We've got our weight pushing in our right big toe, second toe. Our eyes are looking out. And there's runner's lunge. So runner's lunge is always a way to transition into other things. Let's bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. So now we've got both hands on the inside of the foot. And then we're going to walk ourselves around so we form a straddle. We're facing the wide edge of our mat. Inhale, let's look out with a flat back. And then exhale, we're going to bend the elbows and just let the upper body completely melt. You need to bend your knees, please bend your knees. You don't want to feel any stress in the lower back. You want to completely let go of the upper body. We're going to push down through the palms, arms become straighter and straighter. Let's inhale, look out with our flat back. Place your hands on your thighs. And then once you feel like you're stable and you can hold, you're going to extend the arms out through your airplane. And then from there, let's inhale, slowly rise to standing. Palms open face to the sky. Make sure your feet are a little wider than your hips. Your toes are in, your heels are out. And there's our five queen and star. Let's lower the right and lift the left. So push your left palm to the sky and push your right palm to the floor. And then come back to your star. Turning right toes to the front end of our mat. Align your right heel with your left arch. Keep the front of your body facing the side of your mat and then bend the right knee. Bring it out over your ankle without going past your toes. Think about keeping a straight line from the top of your head to the tailbone. So in other words, we don't want to stick the butt out. We want to keep the tailbone pulling straight down. Body weight centered equally in between our feet. But the weight in, that's in our right foot is in our big toe, second toe. Stand the right arm a little forward, lift the right, lower the left. And there's our reverse warrior. Right palm is pushing towards the sky. And then let's come back to warrior two. Now try pulling the right leg straight without locking. We're back to our start position. So everything is open. We're in a nice straight line. We've got straight arms and straight legs. And then our left hip is going to start pulling to the left. And our right arm is going to start reaching out as far as we can go in either direction. Once we can't go any further, we lower the right and we lift the left. And we're envisioning our bodies Press against the wall behind us. So we want to have as much of the back side of our body against the wall as we can. We want to keep our left arm strong without feeling tension in the neck or the shoulder. Let's take one more inhale. As we exhale, start to bend the right knee. We're going to revolve the upper body. Let your hands come to the mat. Lift onto the ball with your left foot, and that's going to bring you back in lunge. Once there, let's keep the left hand pressed down. Inhale, right arm to the side, and then as you exhale, revolve at the waist, and send your right hand towards the sky for your twisting lunge. Let's exhale that hand down. Send your right foot back. Show me a good strong plank. And then press back up in the down dog. 
let's come forward to plank again. And press back, downward facing dog. This time we're gonna step the left foot forward. We've got our foot, so it's between our hands, our knee is over our ankle, eyes are looking out, we can feel our weight pressing into our left big toe, second toe. Then let's bring the left hand to the inside of that left foot. And walk yourself around with the straddle. So now we're facing the other side of our mat. We've got our toes either straight ahead or turned in slightly. Inhale, lengthen, look out. Exhale, elbows bent. Forearms drop, head drops. Upper body once again, lift like a red dog. How do we accomplish that? Really stress. We're going to bend our knees until it's very comfortable to be here. Push down into your palms, arms get straighter and straighter. Inhale, look out, clap back. Hands to thighs. Once you feel nice and strong, extend your arms to the back in your straddle airplane. And then let's inhale to standing. Once you're up, make sure your feet are a little wider than your hips. Toes inhales out, palms facing the side. Good. Now let's lower the left and lift the right. Push your left thumb down, push your right hand high. And then get back into your start. Turn your left toes to the front end of your mat. Align your left heel with your right arch. Keep your hip bones facing the side of your mat. And when you're ready, bend your left knee. Let it find its way out over your ankle without going past your toes. Push down into your left big toe, second toe. Reach out. Warrior two. Reach a little farther with the left hand. Lift the left, lower the right. Turn your left palm to the sky. Reverse warrior Straighten that left leg again, so we're way back where we started. We've got strong, straight arms and legs, so envision your bodies crossed against the wall. As we start to pull our right hip to the right, sending our left arm out as far as we can go. Now once we can go any further, we can lower the left and lift the right. And we want to feel as though we're being pulled towards the sky versus sinking into the floor. Breathing into all that open space. Get rid of any tension that you're holding in your neck. Get rid of any tension that you might be holding in that right shoulder. Take one more inhale. As we exhale, let's start to bend the left knee. Involve your upper body. Lift to the ball of your right foot so you're back in lunge. Right palm's going to press into the mat as we inhale, left arm to the side. Exhale, revolve at the waist. And there's our twisting lunge. Let's exhale that hand down. Step your left foot back, hold on to your plank. Press back up in the down dog. Forward to plank and press back up. Now we're facing down. Step the right foot forward. Step the left foot forward. Toes in, heels out. Let your upper body melt against your thighs. So perhaps you need to bend your knees. 
cradle your elbows in the palms of your hands and just let your head dangle into that brain. Release our fingers back to the mat as we roll up. One stroke, let's do a little back bend and bring your hands to your heart. From there, let's extend the arms long at our sides, fingertips reaching towards the earth, standing mountain pose. Now I want you to find a focal point for your eyes and just fixate on that spot. Begin to shift your weight into your right foot. Make sure that you're pushing into your right big toe, second toe, and then place your left heel against your right ankle bone. Bring your hands together at your heart. When you feel ready, just lift your toes off the mat. You can keep your foot low or high, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you're not pushing the heel of your left foot against the side of your knee. And then from there, you can set the foot back down and come back into your mountain pose. Let's try the same thing other side. So we've got our focal point. Feel our navel pulling in. We're shifting our weight into that left foot. Specifically feeling the weight in the left big toe, second toe. Right heel against ankle bone, hands to heart. When you're ready, lifting your toes. down. You turn your arms to mountain pose. Lift and open your heart. Inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back. Left foot back to play. Now let's keep that right shoulder over right wrist and turn to the side. Left arm reaches to the sky. Modify to the side of your right knee if you'd like. of your feet. Pull out through the top of your head and start to lift away from the mat. I want you to relax your shoulders, open your heart, and breathe. Elbows wide, let's go all the way back down. Tuck the elbows in, lengthen first before you start lifting. And then from there, we're going to push all the way back into extended child's pose. And really enjoy that stretch going down the length of your spine. Let's pass the left arm through the right armpit. Let your shoulder rest on the mat. Just let the weight of your body deepen the stretch. We're 
bring the arm out and we'll switch, pass it through the other way. And bring that arm out and push back one more time. And then let's bring the arms down along the side of the body and just roll your shoulders towards the mat. Let's place our hands under our shoulders. We can start lifting up our body. And then once you're up, we'll come around and seat. So let's start out by extending our left leg out in front. I'm gonna give you two options. You can either rest the bottom of your right foot against your inner thigh, or we could do a herbaler stretch, which has you bringing the left foot behind you. So if herbaler stretch is bothersome to your knee, do the first position. And we're gonna rest on either side of our left leg and we're gonna creep the hands forward as we're pulling our belly button first then our chest, and then our head. And then we'll slowly creep back up. And I want you to try to bring your left hand to the inside of your left calf, and then bend your elbow and see if you can get your left forearm close to the mat. Send your right arm up and let's side stretch. So we're gonna have that right palm pressing towards the sky. That means we're rolling that right shoulder open. And then as we inhale, let's rise up. Exhale, come back to neutral. And let's stretch out the right leg. Stretch out the left leg. So we're going into a Seated wide angle, we're gonna walk our hands forward, push back through your tailbone. Think about pulling your belly button towards the mat. And if you get stuck and you can't go any further, that's when I want you to close your eyes and just breathe into what's ever keeping you restricted. From there, let's inhale our way back up. And now we're gonna keep the right leg straight out in front, and you've got your choice of either bending the left knee, putting the bottom of your foot against that right inner thigh, or moving into that hurdler stretch. So in hurdler stretch, our two legs form a 90 degree angle. We're gonna put our hands on either side of our right leg, start walking forward, push back with your tailbone, Think about belly button, chest, and then your head. And let's gain you back up. Once we're there, let's bring the right hand to the inside of the right leg. We're gonna bend the elbow, see if we can get our right forearm on the mat. And then send the left arm up and do a side stretch that we've got our left palm pushing towards the sky. We'll inhale to lift and then exhale, come back down. And then from there, let's go ahead and stretch the left leg out straight. We'll bring our legs closer together and let's bend our knees and put our hands behind our thighs. So once again, I want you to find your balance on your tailbone. You can keep the shoulders dropped open, the head held high, the belly button tight, and the back straight. And then little by little, extend the legs. Once we found that point of balance, we have the arms. And let's slowly open, like someone has a big iron, and they're ironing us into the mat. Once we gain it down, let's flex our feet. Stretch out through your fingertips. And then just feel your body go soft. Let's open the arms wide to the side. 
and let's bend the right knee. Onto you to shift your hips a tiny bit to the right, tuck your right toe behind your left knee, and then use your left hand to guide the right knee across the body. You want to bring the knee towards the mat without lifting your right shoulder. And then let's bring the right knee back up. Pull the knee in close to your body. And let's extend the leg towards the sky. Walk your hands up as high as you'll reach and think about pulling your toes over your head. So we're going to feel a really good stretch in the hamstring of the right leg and then actually push down with your left hand on your left thigh so that your leg isn't lifting off the mat. And let's slowly release. Once our right leg is down, we can bend the left knee. Arms wide to the side, let's shift our hips a little to the left. Left toe tucks behind the right knee. Right hand guides the left knee across the body. Moving it towards the mat without lifting our left shoulder. Breathe away those thoughts. 